everybody, what's up and welcome back to Baby I've Up 100. I'm Abby and this is my doll Lainey. Um, if you just want to turn your head, there she is! <laughs> so in this video, we are going to be doing a little braid. I feel like everyone knows how to do a braid, but some people don't. I just started learning uh, two years ago or something. My grandma taught me and honestly, it's really fun to do on dolls, so I thought we could do it on some of my dolls today because it's super fun and it's super pretty. This is kind of an older one. <laughs> uh, yeah, this definitely needs to be redone, but I just, it's so fun and it makes some really cool curls. So I thought I could take you guys along and show you how to braid because it's fun. And I definitely was looking for tutorials when I first started learning how to braid and I kind of want to be that for some people, so hopefully you guys enjoy this, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started, I guess. Um, so Lainey is an older doll. She was in like 2016 or something, so her hair is definitely a lot different compared to the cute hairstyles. It's really matty and stuff and older, but look at how cute. Now the braids made her hair super wavy. Now she has these beautiful waves. That's actually so adorable. So we're gonna start by doing three sections of hair. Uh, she's a dancing Dar Darcy's dancing dance Darcy's dance class or something. <laughs> by the way, if you're curious, she's a pretty old doll actually, and I got her for Christmas a long time ago. So we're gonna split our hair in, or <laughs> yeah, the hair into three separate parts like this. I'm just getting all the knots out. She does have a lot of knots since she's older. But if you're doing this on a cute hairstyle or something, it'll probably be easier. We're gonna do it on a cute hairstyles later, actually. So we're gonna split it into three parts like this. And then we're gonna start by holding this middle section. All right, we're just gonna do this. And then we're gonna take this chunk of hair, this, ah, oh, some of it is stuck in her head. <laughs> um, we're gonna like take it and you can either go like this or you can go like this. It doesn't really matter, I don't think so anyway. I'm just gonna go like this because it's easier to show. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna, we're folding this piece over here. And then, now this piece is our new middle. So we're gonna fold this one over. So now we have this. And then our middle is gonna go back to the middle. So you're just kind of like taking turns a little bit. So then we're taking this one, and then we're taking this piece, going over the middle, this piece, going over the middle. It's really hard because I did not do them evenly, but if you distribute them evenly enough, it looks better. And then just go up with this in the middle, this in the middle, and there, it, it it's kind of there. Um, I messed up a little bit. If you just evenly do it, it'll look better. But this is kind of how it looks. You can kind of like see the braid. I'm doing a little mini one now. Doing this one over. You want to make sure it's as high as possible on the hair. This one. This one. Just keep crossing them back into the middle. And usually with tinier pieces, it works a lot better, so you can kind of see what you're doing. And it looks a lot nicer too. And then with these, you can just simply use a little clip or something. This is why you need to like pull the hair all the way up when you're first starting, or else it's gonna have like this little space at the top here. But Otherwise, it looks really nice. I really like the little braids. They're just super cute and add like a little touch. I don't know. I did this one for the vampire music video for Arwen and it turned out really nice on her like silky hair. Like look at that. I didn't do this one as high up, but it's just really pretty and just so like it makes all the difference, I feel like. It's gorgeous. What in the world? Is her little thing stuck in her hair? Her little ribbon? There it goes. Jeez. <laughs> um, 
usually if you like tira doesn't have that little middle piece that arwen had so i really like doing the braid on that but sometimes it looks kind of weird so i ended up just adding it into the braid so we're gonna use it do one on our tira this is tira okay great Actually, pieces okay let me make sure okay that's good so we're gonna start with this want to make sure it's really tight up there she has some like bumps in her hair so we can get those out <laughs> Add the other one in the middle. Add this 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 one in the middle. This one in the middle. Oh, sometimes you get stopped short. Her hair doesn't hold braids. So I just tie, ah! <laughs> it's harder to do this on camera because I got a camera my way. Well, okay, it could look better, <laughs> but her hair ends really like abruptly, kind of like this, like, so <laughs> that's the best it's gonna get, but that's really cute. You can get really creative too. You could do like a side braid and stuff. I haven't really done those before. Maybe I could try, but yeah, just simple like that. And you can add a little clip. Sometimes I just like adding it right here. Sometimes it pokes me, so I don't want to do it. Look at how cute that is! <laughs> yeah, that was today's video. I hope it was okay for you guys. Just a more casual one because, um, well, I'm tired and I wanted to make a video, but I didn't really know what besides this. So <laughs> hopefully it's okay. I really love teaching new things. If you already know how to do a braid, that's fine too. I just, I'm glad that you stuck around because it's fun. It's fun to do new hairstyles and it's fun to try things out. And I really love experimenting on dolls with long hair and short hair too. It's really cool to do one on a short hair doll, but you, it's really hard at the same time. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all so much. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I will see you all next week. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing rest of your week. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.